Hey guys, what's up? Bisac the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next base building episode. And in this one, I'm doing a Town Hall 9 uh, slash Town Hall 9.5 base. I mean, the only difference really for me at least uh, is that I haven't built any new defenses or anything, just the traps. So I'll basically build a Town Hall 9 base, and then uh, from there, if you guys uh, want to keep watching, I'm going to go ahead and put traps in uh, the new Town Hall uh, 10 traps. So that way it'll be more of a 9.5 base. So kind of both both uh, groups are going to be able to see something here because I do have the Town Hall 9 base, but then I'll I'll add to the Town Hall uh, 9 base with nine or with Town Hall 10 traps. So anyway, let's get started. I think I'm going to try out that uh, three-way double giant bomb set I talked about. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. I have my water bottle because I'm going to be talking for a while and uh, see if we can build a nice base here. So one thing I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to put my queen not in the corner like usual. I'm going to mix it up, put her on the side, and uh, I'll have the CC in the middle, as I usually do. Just get that right there. Um, the queen can be somewhere around here. Let's get the queen chamber done. Uh, all my bases are somewhat similar in that the queen chamber is always going to be that same size. I think it's the most efficient way to do it. There's no point having it smaller because uh, then you have to worry about the queen jumping and if you have it bigger uh, you're just kind of wasting space in my opinion uh, it's too easy for them to get to the queen so that's typically how I do it kind of the standard thing uh, so we have that like that and then I'm gonna actually have to slide this over like two I'm thinking like that because I want to have room for another compartment Alright, let's get that going. All right, just like that. Because I want to have another compartment plus some trash buildings. Uh, so I think that distance, yeah, that distance is great. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's work on the core a little bit. Uh, we can go ahead and move the CC up to here. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that down one, then put an air defense up here. And uh, I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll have a possible double giant bomb spot in here. Uh, go like that and make a little square right here and I'm gonna have a potential area um, but it's not the triple is gonna be kinda of like the one I showed in the second part of the video uh, where it's it goes beyond the wall like there's the wall in the middle and uh, you'll see what I mean in a moment so we'll throw that there put that over here start to get this thing uh, going I think this is kinda of how we wanna do it um, that looks pretty good and uh, I think that will get the job done one thing I forgot to mention is these trash buildings you can use because obviously the hogs can't run through a building you can use them to kind of direct the hogs in the way you want them to go uh, so if you keep them tight around these buildings it'll really make sure the hogs hit the hit the bombs and don't go off to the ways you don't want them to so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my DE storage right like that and then I need a building on the other side which I guess I'll just throw that right there and uh, that's like a little bit suspicious so I'm gonna go ahead and put a defense here just so it's not too suspicious uh, I can put move that down one actually and uh, finish off this compartment like this and I think that's a pretty solid uh, three-way giant bomb set I think that works out pretty well and uh, for town for this town hall nine base, I'm gonna have two more giant bombs, and I'll add the third one uh, at the end here. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get an air defense going. Um, want to have a little bit of a gateway into that. We don't want them coming at a weird angle, even though I don't think they. Yeah, I think we can be confident putting an air defense here because the wall separates the bombs if they run up to that cannon. So, uh, yeah, I think we can be confident doing that not really any kind of risk there so uh, yeah we're good so I'm gonna go ahead and put that air defense there um, have some probably want to have or no maybe not okay uh, put that there then we'll have another air defense probably kind of down here and then the fourth one there is the layout I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh, yeah unless I want to put one up here in this area and then one Actually, this might look a little bit better, yeah. I'll have it be kind of this layout type thing. So, uh, let's go ahead and get another potential uh, DGB spot, like another one of these 
uh, kind of diagonal possibilities. We can throw a trash building there and uh, another compartment like that around it. Perfect. Let's make it one bigger actually. Um, and then we'll throw another trash building right here. So yeah, a lot of spots for stuff going on here. You know, just a Town Hall 9 base. Basically, I don't have, even my Teslas aren't finished upgrading yet. So I don't have really any new stuff. I uh, don't have to worry about that. So put, we'll put that Tesla kind of in this area. I want to keep it kind of away from the Queen though, because I don't want them to be able to come in here and get my Queen and a few air defenses too easily. So we'll keep uh, that like that. Go ahead and start making some compartments and see where we're at as far as walls go because I haven't built any new walls, just the standard Town Hall 9 walls. So we can have this kind of compartment like that. Yeah, like that. And uh, it can kind of come off, check the CC radius and the Queen radius too. I don't want the Queen to be able to be, you know, hit with the Queen walk, but you can see right there it doesn't extend far enough. So we'll have something like this, I'm thinking. And then to protect that air defense from a queen walk, we're gonna want something that goes kind of like that. Also, you know, anti valve want these kind of wide compartments. Gonna try to keep that true on this base. Um, and then, let's see here. Same thing. Want to have, yeah, the queen, pretty much no chance of anything happening there. So that should be fine. The CC radius is good too. So we can do what we can do here is have kind of a big long compartment like that. Or actually, let's let's do this. Let's make it a little bit shorter. Um, because I want to keep that air defense separated. So let's go like that, and then build the walls there. And we'll have one more compartment that comes out like this. Getting a little bit low on walls here, so uh, let's see what I can do. I can, I can just get rid of this, probably, and then just have this wrap around here. And that looks good. Actually, I can have that even one farther in. No big deal there. So that looks good on that part. I have four walls left. I can probably try to finish this thing off right here. And yeah, and I have two walls to spare. You always want a few walls after you make these compartments for adjustments because there are going to be some uh, just as you go. So I have these two walls. I can make a, a compartment or two a little bit bigger when I need to. So that's great. And uh, everything's looking good. What I think I'm going to do here though is want to keep make it a little bit harder to... Actually, I think I'm fine. Never mind. I was going to move the walls, but I'm good there. Let's start filling in some of these defenses though. Uh, starting with the queen compartment. Probably want to have a wizard tower here and then these archer towers out here to try to stop any kind of dragons or any kind of nonsense like that uh, with that in the middle. Actually, I didn't make it big enough for a town hall to fit unless I move my queen pad over one and I don't want to do that. So let's see what I can do. I can just put regular uh, buildings back here and I can throw my town hall and I could use my town hall just in my regular base. That works too. I haven't done that in a while, but why not? Let's try to put the town hall uh, in some kind of high HP area where uh, it'll be helpful. I'm not sure where that should be yet, but it can stop a kill squad. It can mess with an attack. Maybe like right there or something. Actually, I'll probably have the king right there. I'll have to think about that. But let's put the king here. That'll work out fine. And... Uh, see what else we can do here as far as expos go we can put an expo here just trying to make sure I don't mess up the double giant bomb path thing want to make it look like there's still all these possible spots it could be we can go ahead and throw like one more possible spot up at the top there in a moment let's put this air sweeper there that'll get some good value if it's pointed the right way I can fix that later um, Throw a cannon there, like that, and and uh, I guess one of those like that. Let's see what else. Um, just trying to go through, see what defenses can go where. 
I mean, it takes a little bit of time. You can see, you know, it's not the easiest thing to do. Can't just crank out a base like this. Let's go ahead and work on this pathing down here because this compartment actually isn't that big. I, I was hoping it would, uh, it wouldn't be this far to the outside because it can kind of be queen wall. Let's go ahead and move this out one. You know, we have the walls. Let's just go ahead and do it uh, like that. And then I'm going to throw a cannon right in here. This is going to kind of be an unexpected area, I think, for there to be something because it's kind of towards the outside. Uh, but it looks like that Tesla isn't going to be hit by a queen walk, hopefully. So it'll at least be kind of intact in, in that regard. I can go ahead and throw, I'll put a wizard tower out here, but I can throw like a mortar right there. Uh, put that there. So now we have the, uh, it looks, yeah, the pathing is going to be fine there. Um, on the other side, same thing. It's really hard to get this to be triggered wrong the way I have it set up. So I can throw, let's just do another mortar like that. And then a cannon out here. That looks good. And we'll just put an HP building there too. Okay. So looking good for the most part. Just keep working our way around the base. Oops, filling stuff in. Put those walls back. Um, what else can we fill in here? Let's move this wizard tower over one. Uh, let's throw a... Let's might as well put a mortar in this queen compartment. And can we fill in this space? I don't want to have to put anything new in here. Oh, uh, whatever. I'll just throw some more HP in. Okay. That looks good. Uh, I just need to get down these last few wizard towers and cannons and whatnot. This is a good place to put wizard towers because there's no air defenses. So lava hounds aren't going to be sitting in front of them tanking. So we'll do that there. This expo is a pretty good anti-queen walk position there. Uh, we can throw... I'll have to put part like that there, but... Actually, we would we want to keep the pathing good there. And who knows where I'll put the rest of my giant bombs. Haven't quite figured that out yet. Uh, but we'll have those two buildings there. want to make sure the base has somewhat even distribution of point defense. So I'll put the cannon here in the archer tower over there. Alright, so things are looking pretty good. I'm thinking what I can do is put one of those there. And... Alright, what else can we do here? I guess, let's make sure I have no defenses left besides this mortar, which needs to go down somewhere. I can actually put this mortar out here just to add another layer of uh, defenses in there to protect the double giant bomb spot. And I can fill this in with just some trash, right like that. And I have the Teslas, which I'll take care of in a moment, but looking for regular defenses, and I think I got all of them done, yeah. Okay, so these Teslas need to go down somewhere now. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do the troll test that you guys can still do it if you want, and it's something I typically do, but I'm not gonna do it for the purpose of this base. And I think what I'll do with my Teslas is I'll kind of put a little bit of a Tesla farm up in this area, kind of by the queen. So we'll have, move these two out a little, oops, there we go, move these out and just throw some Teslas in behind, like that. That out one, yeah, perfect. That'll be a nice little Tesla farm that will pop there, and I'll have spring traps and stuff later. Um, just throw one more building in here to get this covered up. And I think the base on the interior is looking pretty good. Uh, the double giant bomb spot looks great. And still have the, you know, valid possible spots over here. Move this Archer Tower over just one. Uh, that little glitch there with that broken wall is kind of funny, but uh, besides that, the one in the core pathing is still uh, pretty solid on that. Yeah, I'd say the pathing's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and move this up one. Just This is just going to make it so the hogs would be pushed behind the cannon had there, be, had there been a double giant bomb set there. Uh, obviously there's not, but if there were, that would help a lot and I uh, want to make it look believable. So I'm going to put my next two giant bombs down as if this is a Town Hall 9 base. I'm thinking I'm just going to do two singles from here. So I'll throw one here. I think that's a good spot. 
Um, uh, you have to be careful about putting them in the double giant bomb spots because that's the places people are going to be looking to clear, especially on the first attack. So you want to make sure that they're in places they're probably not expecting them, at least if they're searching for a double set. And as far as the next one, uh, I don't want to put by my Tesla farm. I think that's not a great uh, way to go. So I'm thinking there, but that's a little bit too close to my actual double giant bomb spot. And uh, I don't want them to be able to get too much with one kill squad. So I could have some kind of makeshift double giant bomb spot over here. But it doesn't look like it's going to work out with the pathing and stuff. So yeah, this is kind of tricky. Huh? If my defenses were moved around a little bit, that might be what I have to do is kind of move the defenses to almost make another uh, little spot for there to be a, a possible or an actual giant bomb. I, I can move this Mordo. I guess I don't necessarily need it out here. And this isn't the best, uh, the strongest defense against that, triggering that with a few hogs, but um, every base has its weakness, I guess. So I will move that and put another mortar in. I'm going to move this cannon up to right here. And a little bit tricky as far as what I can do. If I move all of that right like that I could throw a giant bomb between these defenses but then again the pathing might not work out um, yeah this is tough I guess this will be fine just like that I think they're far enough apart that uh, it, it, you know it's still gonna get something and you know screw it I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna put it up here the more I look at it yeah that's better and then I'm gonna move this mortar back actually to right here it is kind of by my Tesla farm, which I don't typically want to do, but it is what it is. We'll get that storage back there, actually, and move on, you know, get this base finished off. Don't want to go too long on just trying to tweak these little things, because you guys are getting the main idea, at least, which is important. Um, I'll fill in the trash in a moment, but let's get these traps down. So I have the same six spring traps. Uh, I want to have a little bit of action going on in here just to try to fling away any hogs that come in for a sacrifice like on the second attack or something. Uh, that's a good spot to put one over there. And then in this little test the farm area, you know, I've got to add insult to injury with a few more traps in there. Uh, besides that, we can put one right here uh, when they, they go back from that archer tower. Have one left. And where do I want to put this one? Want to keep it kind of towards the outside, I'm thinking. Uh, interesting. Where do I put this? Uh, yeah, I guess I can put it right over here. Yeah, and get some hot. Well, it's kind of close to the giant bomb. It's not really worth it. Uh, here's what I can do is I can set back that guy a little bit and then put it between these two. Yeah, that'll work. All right, looking great. Uh, everything's kind of shaping up nicely. Now I just have some air traps and some little bombs and stuff to put down. Only gonna use four of each at first. So let's get the black air bomb going here just to stop the queen uh, from getting hit by dragons or something. And then I'll go ahead and just sprinkle them out one by one on these three outer air defenses. I think that'll be fine. Gonna load up a little bit up here with some, keep them kind of separated. Let's just put one out here, one over there, and then one by the queen, a little bit deeper in. And finally, uh, we can throw one like right in here. Okay, skelly traps have three of them, yep. Oh no, you only have two at Town Hall 9, yeah. So I'll put my skellies kind of by my king in this area. I think that could be a little bit tricky. They just hop out, help out the king. So that's good. And I think that's it. Oh, you just have the six small bombs. Where's a good spot for that? I would say, um, actually I think by this wizard tower would be good. Uh, let's throw some in here. And I uh, can get some good damage on some hogs that come through. So, yeah. Great. Okay, yeah. Um, and just put these trash buildings down and we'll call it good, I guess. Um, oh, that army can't quite, can't quite fit. I wish you could move the whole base one because I have room up top there. 
uh, but we'll just slide this guy over and put two up here. You can see I had that nice higher level army camp. I'm not sure whatever level eight, I guess. Uh, throw some of these down. Don't have a ton of trash buildings, but I have enough to get the job done, I think. And I'll put a builder's hat out in front of that mortar. All right, just finish this thing off right here. And then I'll put in the town hall uh, 10 traps, like I said. Okay, keep these spaced out somewhat evenly. Oh, I still have my town hall. I'll see where I can put some HP also. Wherever I want to, you know, change in uh, the town hall for some other trash building because I guess just out front in front of the queen would be a good spot, actually. This HP is going to uh, prevent, you know, any kind of king dive or anything like that to come in and try to get the queen. So perfect, yeah. And then, oops, here we go. Do I have enough? Oh, I have builder huts. All right, whatever. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just putting these last few builder huts. Okay, great. And there's kind of a gap there, but I can just close that off, I think. Oh, come on. Doing this on my phone, by the way, so not the easiest, but I don't really mind. The phone screen's, you know, solid size. All right. Uh, for Town Hall 9.5, I think this... For this base, what I would do is I'd keep the one double giant bomb set, and then I'd put the other one, probably, I'd probably try to put it, I'm thinking, in this area, maybe. Just add to another level of damage if they try to use hogs. So I'd probably put that there. I mean, you can throw a skelly trap out here to defend the queen, or from the, from the coming in from the other side. So that will go there probably. And then these two air traps just kind of by preference. So you can see it's really not much different at all from a Town Hall 9. And I guess I'd probably throw this one, uh, I might throw it like down here or something. So very similar to a Town Hall 9 base, just with those extra traps. And I know some 9.5s might have new defenses, like the new Expo. And I mean, you're kind of just adding it to a, nine, a Town Hall 9 base. The time the base really changes is, is at uh, Town Hall 10. And that's when you drop the new Inferno Tower. So when you can consider yourself an actual Town Hall 10, that's when you're kind of uh, going to be changing the design of your base a lot. And you'll probably see more from that, more about that from me when I become a true Town Hall 10 with the Inferno. But for now, this is the 9 slash 9.5 base. Hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, are enjoying this series. I'm having fun doing it. And I should continue to do it just kind of periodically when I can. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye, Sectatron out.